Hey guys, Celtic Fire here back in another part and the final main part of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part we took on Lance here and he told us that we have one more challenger that we have to take on it. And if you read it and spoiled it for yourself, shame on you. Way to not ruin the surprise, unless you actually know what's going to happen, what like I do because I've played Pokemon before. That's besides the point. Ready to see who we have to face? Here we go. Yep, that's right. We have to face our rival. Hey, Red. I was looking forward to seeing you, Red. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Red, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. All right, I was just letting you get a taste of the music there. We are taking on our rival, who is now the champion of the Pokemon wor world, Blue. Blue's going to start off with his level 59 Pidgeot. We're going to start off with our very under level 46 Jolteon, but it's super effective against Pidgeot, so it's not going to matter. We're going to start off by Thunder Waving it, so that way we are for sure faster than it, just in case it does Quick Attack. I'm not sure if it knows Quick Attack, though, but it's just the thought that counts. So, um, now we're going to shockwave it. It's going to continue probably trying to do its flying type moves on us, which isn't going to be an issue because flying is not very effective against uh, electric. But you know what it is? Electric's uh, super effective against um, flying types. There we go. Uh, brain fart. Um, I'm going to have to use my first full restore because actually those aerial aces are doing a lot of damage. So, it can keep doing aerial ace though. I don't mind. As long as it doesn't do a or have a crit on us. I'm not too worried. Now we're going to double kick it. I know it's not very effective. However, I need to make sure it's barely underneath the halfway so that way we can guarantee ourselves to take it out. So that should be its first Pokemon taken care of. Right there. Okay. And we got a crit, of course. We get a crit when we don't need it. So, first Pokemon is down, Jolteon gets a lot of experience. Next Pokemon, Rhydon. Rhydon is a ground rock type. You will want to use a water type or an ice type, a, or a grass type. Grass or water, quad effective. Not sure about ice. I know ice is at least normal super effective. However, we're going to use... Oh, we're out of blizzards. Oh boy. Um, but I'm going to use Hydro Cannon on it. I probably should use Surf, but I think Hydro Cannon should take it out. on a one-hit KO. And it did, okay. And it got a critical hit. That's just all sorts of damage. That's four times effective. Stab bonus and critical hit. That's got to be at least six or eight times the normal amount. Now he's going to send out his Venusaur, which we could use Furo or Jinx for. I'm going to use Furo, though, because I feel it's the most appropriate at the time. And we're actually beating him four to six right now, Pokemon-wise, so I'm feeling quite confident, actually. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. I was kind of worried about it, especially this Venusaur right here, since it's, it, it is his highest level Pokemon. And it's going to continue to use growth on us, which that's absolutely no problem with me, as long as it doesn't use Solar Beam on me. I'm not going to care too much. Let's drill pack it. Oh, okay, this is definitely where you're going to want to use Fly when it uses Solar Beam. Use that to your advantage, if you have any moves that can... Uh, Oh, and it's going to use its Citrus Berry, of course. Actually, I'm not going to complain because it was in the red. I guarantee you would have used a full restore. Let's use Fly. And actually, I thought we would be faster in it than Venusaur, but I guess not. But, oh, okay. I thought we were going to survive it. But that's okay. Let's use... I'm going to use Jinx. Jinx should be able to take it out with either a... Actually, let's use Psychic. Psychic, I guarantee, will take it out. And it's going to use Solar Beam again, but I think the Psychic should take it out. And bye-bye, Venusaur. All right, we're done with, or we're halfway done with the Blue's team. Obviously, we were a little bit better prepared than he was for his team. Uh, now he's going to use his own Gyarados, so hopefully his Gyarados isn't as annoying as Lance's. At least it doesn't have an Aerodactyl. That could be it. problematic, because that was problematic for me last one, but let's use a Thunder Wave, paralyze it, um, 
In my opinion, though, the music for Blue here, I'm not as big of a fan of it as I am of Lance's champion music from Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, and I guess Black, white, black and White too, because it's in there. Um, I just like that. I don't not beat, but I don't know that. It's just a really nice sounding thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going with there, but... Oh, I can't use Toxic. He's paralyzed, because I'm an idiot. So, I guess I just put you out there for no reason, Nitto King. Except for to take damage. So, let's you Let's revive our Jolteon, I guess. And then Nitto King should be able to take another hit from this Thrash here. And actually, you might get confused after this turn, so... Paralyzed and Confusion. It's not a bad combination to have. But the only thing better would maybe be uh, Confusion and Sleep, but... Yeah. It's a Shockwave, because it's quite effective. Hopefully we get a... Uh, critical again, because that'd just be amazing. Crit... Nope. Alright, but... Stab bonus and all that junk. I'll take it. Um... Okay, good. Let's shockwave it. Oh, it's going to use a full restore already? It wasn't even in the red. That's kind of surprising. But that's fine. I don't even think I need to uh, use shockwave, or, or not shockwave, uh, thunderwave next time because another shockwave will take it out. Yeah, and we're faster than it. So there goes Gyarados. Gyarados is done. So, we are actually doing pretty well against Blue so far. Now he's going to use his Alakazam, which would be nice to have our Nidoking to use Mega Horn for, but we have Gyarados with Bite, so that's equally as effective. And at least he doesn't have any types that are weak against Psychic like Nidoking does. And we're going to lower its attack, even though it's a special attacker, so way to go Gyarados. Your ability had no use to me. And now it's going to use Psychic. At least it's not using Future Sight, because that could really mess up my team right now. Actually, Alakazam, I'm surprised, hasn't really swept my team. But let's use Bite. Oh, there's the Future Sight. I just had to mention it. So, I guess I'm going to use a Revive on Nidoking. I'm just going to have to pray that Nidoking is faster than Alakazam, because... There's absolutely no way that it's going to survive a Psychic from no, Alakazam. And why does it keep using Future Sight? There we go. I mean, I understand you want a Future Sight attack to come, but you don't need to do it over and over again. And I survived it? That, okay. Okay. <laughs> I got a crit when I had 4 HP left. That's funny. Okay, let's use Nidoking and Mega Hornet. And Mega Horn, and we are fa and we missed. Okay, that's fine. Use Future Sight. We're oh, maybe if it uses Calm Mine or does what it did against my Gyarados. There we go. Mega Horn's landed. Super effective. Do damage. Yes. All right. We're down to his last Pokemon, which I know what it is, but I'm not gonna say it until it comes up. Nido King grew le another level, which that's fine. I'm gonna keep Nido King out there because Arcanine is his last Pokemon, and it is super or er, Ground type, so super effective against Arcanine, and that's what uh, our move Earthquake is. So what I'm gonna do is poison it first. Hopefully, I can before the future psych sight future sight attack comes in to play. And nope, I, of course there comes the future sight attack. So I guess it's down to. Who do we have left? Jinx, Jolteon, and Blastoise. So, what fitting ending than using our starter Pokemon to take out his last Pokemon? I'd say that's fitting. Let's use Surf. Extreme Speed, that's like the specialty move of the Growlithe family, so that's not going to do too much damage, I don't think. No. Let's Surf it. Super effective stab bonus halfway. Almost. So, you know what? I think Hydro Cannon may take it out, but I'm going to use Strength just to make sure. Because I'm. Oh, and if it keeps using Extreme Speed, I'm going to be uh, quite a world of hurt. So I'm going to heal after this, too. 
Hopefully strength doesn't do too much damage. It doesn't. Okay. Alrighty. Let's heal our Blastoise. We're one turn away from ending blue. Okay. Extreme speed. I think we should survive another extreme speed as long as none of these are criticals. And that one isn't. So let's use Hy Hydro Cannon. And... What a fitting way to end the freaking last battle than with our Pokemon we started off with. We have defeated our rival champion of the Pokemon world, spiky haired Gary Terp impersonator. We defeated Blue. No, that can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. That's not fair. Yep, that's right. Pretty much all this is going to say is, yeah, you're the Pokemon League champ. Way to go. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. We're done with the main quest. We're done. I don't even know what to say. Um, we're not done with the LP, though. I still got some other side quest stuff to do, but the main quest is over. We beat all the gyms. Delete four. The champion. We're done. Dunsky. So, yeah. We're going to go follow Professor Oak, put our Pokemon in the Hall of Fame, and look at that reflection on the floor. We keep this room very polished. Um, however, I guess uh, keep in mind any games you'd like me to play, put them in the comment box below. I've already got one suggestion. I was thinking about doing that one. However, I will continue to take any suggestions. So. Let's go through our Hall of Fame, I guess, then. Jolteon. And also, this proves you can take on the Elite Four if you do your team right. I'm very underleveled. None of my Pokemon had reached level 50 yet. I even had a level 45. But, I guess, with that, this has been Celtic Fire with uh, Pokemon Fire Red. If you appreciated this Let's Play, I would appreciate a like. Any thoughts, comments, concerns, complaints about the Let's Play or this video, leave them below in the comment box. Otherwise, this has been League Champion Celtic Fire, Red, whatever you want to call me. Have a good day.